folks, waitressing is a tough job. You gotta wait on people, carry a lot of dishes, take orders, and really you're taking orders from two people. The people that you work with at the restaurant and the people that you serve. My colleague Eve Ledford and her friend Jessica talk about waitressing from the perspective of simply a request. Don't shoot the messenger. So my name is Eve, and about three or four months ago, I decided to get a job as a waitress. But I work with some waitresses who've been doing it for much longer. And so we were discussing today, uh, me and my friend Jessica. Hi, Hi. I'm Jessica. We were um, discussing some of the crazy things that people ask us for, um, because they think that you have all this control and power to change things sometimes when you don't necessarily. So, Jessica, what is some, like, what's normal for someone to ask you for to change? Uh, you know, say their rice is cold, they want some more rice. Now that's real easy, simple fix. I got you, I can do that. No problem. That's like what we do all the time. But then there are expensive things that sometimes people ask for, and then there are ridiculous things. So, just a couple of days ago, I had a table in, and they asked if instead of their sides, they could have an appetizer. Not only do I have to be the one to tell them no, but I also am the one who gets yelled at when I tell them no. So how do you usually handle it when someone asks you for something that you can't do? Usually I smile and I try to take a deep breath and just explain to them, look, you know, you can't do this, I'm sorry, I apologize, but that's just not the way we do things, and, and then that's gonna come back on me and I can lose my job for that. Yeah. And people don't realize that. If we give you something that's illegal for us to give, and you can be fired, and we've had servers get fired because they're trying to take care of their guests, and then they give away a drink or something, and they're like, well, you no longer work here. It's as simple as that. So someone's basically saying, I want this side bad enough that you can lose your job for it. <laughs> and so it's kind of mean. It's not very considerate. And one of the other funny things that sometimes, just being in the restaurant business, you run out of things. You run out of cups. You run out of certain drinks. And sometimes when you run out of food, People also go crazy. What would you say? How many things do we offer? Oh, we offer a wide variety of, I mean, you know, if we run out of chicken wings, there are plenty of other things you can choose from. Chicken related, not chicken related. We've got a lot of items on our menu. Yes. Yeah. So one time I had a table who we didn't have, it was broccoli. And they were so upset we had to discount their food and they thought it's like, we have like 20 other things to choose from and they were so angry. As waitresses, we don't make food orders, we don't have control over it. What was something that once you ever messed up and a cook like totally reacted? Oh, a cook reacted? Well, the cook gets mad at me because they, they think that I didn't tell them or, or you know, that somehow it's my fault when really the person just didn't specify, hey, I don't want mayonnaise on my burger. And now this not only affects my mood, in this table, but it affects my tips. You know, that's just one instance. So we're hoping that when you go to your local restaurant, that now you'll know that your waitresses really do care and try to do the best job they can and be just a little more kind. Thank you, that would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> Bye. Bye.